pairing. Welcome back, Lelanders, to a new episode of Clone Evolution Dungeon Edition. The dreaded Dungeon 1018. <laughs> now, as you can see, we're almost at 1018. Let's check where we're at. We're at 1017. So we're going to try to work our way up to the dreaded 1018. See if we can beat the level that everyone's stuck at. And if we do, we could crack the top 20. That's right. You heard it right. We could crack. <laughs> crack the top 20. <laughs> All right, so we're back, and we're going to try to crack the top 20. Let's begin. I figure this episode should mainly be dungeon. We could do a few other things. Maybe we'll check what else needs doing in the game. But I'm pretty sure it's just dungeon, special edition. All right, let's see if the stream actually began. Yay! Yay! Rogue and laugh at you. <laughs> there we go. Now I hope everyone's doing well. I know I did kind of a marathon stream lap last episode, lap episode, laps and laps. But no, this episode we don't intend to do four hours. Let's hope. Oh god, we might not even make it to 418. Look at this bitch. It's already a hard level here. The Catholic hero and King Peter. Remember last time we got stuck on King Peter for quite a while. He doesn't miss. Oh, suck. Can't even make it to 1018. All right, well, we'll have to try the solution that we did for King Peter last time. We'll pull out the heavier artillery. Might have to do the switcheroo, change out some of the Zoros for the ass whoopers. All right, let's see if that makes a difference. The ass whoop a ruse. <laughs> this could be the worst episode ever. No viewers, no objective achieved. Won't even make it to 1018. Ooh. Oh, God. Yeah, this King Peter level is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, how can we change it so we survive? Let's try that. Well, these genies survived. <laughs> All right, so that strategy isn't going to work either. So if that one isn't going to work, that one isn't going to work. Let's try another backup plan. Now, if any of the viewers are wondering how we made it this far, well, since we played last episode, it wasn't easy, but we did find a few ways to do it. All right, let's try that. Oh, still not.
Well, at least it was a little bit more promising. We've seen a couple misses in there. King Peter. <laughs> man, oh man, is he ever a bitch. <clears throat> this might be our only chance. At least we cleaned out some of the enemies that time. Not a dent in the Peters. Jeez, they just don't miss, right? This could be the ultimate level that I just can't beat. If they're not going to miss, it's not going to be easy for me to beat them. So what I did last time when I got stuck on a level is I watched the replay video and then the replay video gave me an idea on what I could do to win the level. I'm already thinking, oh, there, that was a better battle. We damaged one of the King Peters. So that's what we'll do. We're going to resort to watching the videos and see how the level 400 players manage to beat these levels. So thanks Shark Dude for sharing how he did it. Oh, a lot of people use the Bifel team. And that guy. So that's not going to help me. Alright, let's watch who else did it. New Master. Oh, this is the team that we can use. So he put Alice in the tank, Genie, Tengu. Surprised he has the healer in here, eh? Like the healer actually does anything. Yeah, that's what I figured, because Bifel can really tear him a new one. Alright, so that guy was the most helpful. Noob Master, thanks for the advice. Let's go to this person, see what they suggest. Oh, they have a similar team. Except they put Tengu in the tank position. And they didn't bring... Holy shit, uh, what's his name? The best attacker. Wow. Oh, they substituted uh, him with her. Alright, so let's try that on for size. I forget already, what was it? <laughs> Genie, yeah, there we go. So, Genie... Alice and the real different addition in this team is Tengu if anyone's wondering why the hell do people keep bringing Tengu he can sometimes dodge long enough to make the difference is really who we need to survive is him with her if they survive, then we're in good shape. Oh, 
know, who is the extra player that I want to bring? Usually Sekhmet, but I don't think Sekhmet's going to help here. He brings in her, but I don't think she's strong enough on my team to bring yet. And they'll need fire if they're going to burn. Burn, baby, burn. All right, Tengu survived the first wave of attacks. Look at that, eh? He only has to buy Beowulf uh, enough time to do a few rounds of attacks. Boom. Oh, fuck, didn't hit hard at all. Maybe second round. Come on. Holy fuck, can't survive to the second round. Boom. Uh, that was decent, but still not as what we need. Especially with the way King Peter heals. We gotta finish him quick. Fuck. Alright, so take out Tengu maybe. Keep Alice. Bring in someone who can really increase the attack. Who can increase attacks? Maybe she can keep the whole team alive. Oh, fucking game crashed. All right, we'll be right back. Thanks again all the patrons, Suki, Dan, Jim, Ray, Travis, everyone a patron, thanks a million. Alright, make sure to check out the Society 6, Finishing Quick, My Specialty, T-shirts, bed sheets, both popular with the ladies, Hydro TV, pays you to watch videos, shrug box to shop, game kit to try games, and free Bitcoin, it's a wallet system for crypto, and just make sure you follow all your regional laws, including for the virtual main sex machines, for adults and men only, if you want $10 off, use the coupon code LYINGBS, that's L-Y-N-B-S-N. And it's not a joke, it's for real. Judson Weebly is my website. Let's get back to the game. Follow your regional laws. Oh. There we go. Now we're back. <coughs> now I think we got the dungeon. I know we didn't start off so good when the game was crashing, but usually it crashes when we're about to whoop its ass. So hopefully there's a big time ass whooping coming up. Now I think I'm going to keep it set on this guy for a while, but then I'm going to change it to Elizabeth. We got to start grinding Elizabeth again. <laughs> Too soon. There we go. There we go. Where are we going? Westward, huh? Right, so we are still working on these. We should probably get a couple of them done. Well, we have till seven, so we're okay. We're okay. Oh, fuck, man. That's a lot of shitty rewards. Let's refresh it. There we go. Now we're talking lots of good ones.
Rob, Rob. Oh yeah, fist action. Oh, all right, keep the fists coming. There we go, started off good. Collect these two. Never know, might run out of time later today and you ever notice when you're playing Clone Evolution, if you leave it for later, you're like, oh, I'll finish it later. You usually get busy later and you forget. It sucks balls, not in a good way. All right, let's do the warp gate. Law oh, slam. Let's do it. Let's keep getting more purple frags, right? Oh, and bullets. Holy shit, that was a good haul. Let's try this one. See if we can get warp gates. Yeah, warp gate right off the bat. First one. Four extra levels, not bad. Could be enough for us to win it. Alright, another warp gate. That's what we needed. I was hoping yeah, if we could even just get one warp gate, get multiple. That's nice. Oops, that was close. I almost visited him. Can you imagine visit a vampire? <laughs> now, there are some nice vampires, but most of them not. <laughs> Now I shouldn't stereotype. I'm sure there's an equal amount of nice and mean vampires. Deal. Now I noticed one of the viewers in the archive was complaining that I made fun of transgenders. I don't recall doing it, but usually try to make fun of everyone equally. <laughs> Now, and someone pointed it out that my name is gender neutral. Do, 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 do. Beacon. There's a lot of Lelanders women out there too, right? <laughs> Beacon, Rob. Jeez, brain, work. There we go. We got one bullet. It's like, what did I ever do to it? Yes, 23 tokens. Fucking right. That was a good one. All right, we'll come back later and see if we can remember. That was pretty good, finishing three right off the bat. Got to collect that one. Closer to that one. We do need more four stars. So I'll have to focus on those. And we're getting one five, so that'll be good. Hopefully we have enough bullets to actually continue. 
We'll check the spaceship. Eight hours till arrival. Oh, we got plunder points. Let's take him. Now that our Suzo has items equipped. Yes, now we can win. There we go, finally. I was wondering why our Suzo kept losing. We found out he didn't have any items equipped. I don't know how the fuck the game managed that one. Now the viewers are right, all the items that I was missing, they just keep appearing in my inventory now that I deleted some to make room. So if anyone's worried, hey, the game's robbing items, try not to fill your items so full that you can't fit any. That's when they tend to disappear. Still no luck in my dice returning, though. Looks like those are gone for good. Sons of bitches. <laughs> it's okay. We won't dwell on what's done is done. Tempting. Might as well go for ones that are easier rather than try to risk one that we can barely win. Yeah, so I hope everyone's having a good weekend. I was hoping to get some more work this week, but so far so good. At least got one shift in. Let's try this one. Victory. Yes. There we go. Two more, then we'll go back and try to whoop the dungeon. Now I've sort of got stuck in the planets where I can't unlock any new levels and I've already beat all the ones that I did unlock so I just keep going around trying to get more blueprints manufacturing those and working on the what you call it the technology trying to increase my technology for shipbuilding oh my team won all three yeah fucking right so we'll show the aerospace technology We're working on researching got to get this up to 30 it's nice we're almost at 20 we should have stuck with attack and got it up to 30 oh well we switched to blueprints Yeah, someone mentioned I should just delete my old ships because I'd only use one. So yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, 10 orbs. Fucking right. Alright, now we just got our main spaceship, the Green Hornet. I love it. It's the best ship ever. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the dungeon, see if we can tear it a new one. No one has helped us on dice yet. I gotta ask in the Discord, maybe someone can help.
character on the dice do? Alright. Fuck. Let's take a screenshot of it. I know it's, we'll have to exit it right the game after, but it's worth it. We need the screenshot. I'll call them chess guys, even though there's multiple genders, maybe even three. There we go. So sadly the game won't let me go back, so I'll just reboot it and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Yep, so I posted the picture in the Discord if anyone wants to see. If you can answer what each of these chess pieces do. What is this guy, this guy, and that girl? Or maybe this transgender guy. No, he's the trans, they're the transgender guy and the girl. So which is which? What do they do? What are their abilities? I think one of them has a good ability. So I want to try to use the right one. So if any of the viewers in the Discord are able to help with that, really appreciate it. Yeah, we finally got the picture of it. That wasn't that difficult. We just had to reboot. Alright, so we got bounties and we've got to try the dungeon. We promised the viewers the 118 battle and we're stuck at 1017. We need to survive longer and attack. Put it on fire and we'll put in Tengu. Tengu seems to be the difference maker. Because, yeah, if Tengu's alive, that makes a big difference. Holy, did he die quick. He finished quick. was horrible. Let's try again. Come on, Tengu. You can survive longer than that. There we go. He survived a round. That's what we need. At least one round of survival. There. Beowulf and Alice survived. That's the combination. Jeez, Beowulf's hitting so weak. What the hell's going on?
Alright, let's try that. stuck at 1017. This level is so hard to beat. That was a little better. We had Peter damaged almost half. Hmm. So as good as Tangu Edition is, I don't think it's worth it. Louise. Is there just no way to win this? It'd be sure nice to see this level behind us. I don't want to jinx it, but it seems beatable. No, uh, I still didn't find out what the chess pieces do. Thanks, Rusty, for tuning in. Now we're stuck on a hard dungeon level too. I thought we could play 1018 today, but I jinxed it. We can't beat 1017. It's a fucking bitch of a level. <laughs> Who knows? We might find a way still. I just started working on it. We finally did some damage. Not enough to win it, but man, that was better. Oh, look at that, eh? We had two of them down to half, took out a few Catholic heroes. Now that looked more beatable. Hmm. I think we just need to get lucky with a few of the attacks. Hopefully they, they dodge a few and next thing you know we'll win it. Ah, oh, no luck that time. Seems, I don't know, maybe King Peter can't miss that attack. See if he ever does. There he misses it. So he can miss it. And if he does, boy, it takes him almost down to one hit.
All right, so to beat this level, we got to boost our dodge. Let's see. Try taking Alice out, Genie in, and someone to increase the dodge. Well, we can't take her out. Yeah, I find Sea King seems to help significantly. Yeah, let's try that. did not increase our dodge what the hell son of a bitch <laughs> uh, I think we'll give it a few more goes that was close to working holy Hannah what the fuck why are we getting destroyed now who did we take out that was helping so much? Was it Alice? Well, that wasn't so bad. We killed one. When I see that it's at least possible to dodge it, it raises my hope. Because then I'm like, oh, maybe we'll just get on a lucky streak where we'll dodge enough to win it. Yeah, Alice does help. She making the problem worse. Ooh, nice. Yes. Ooh, too bad. If we could add a double dodge in that one, that was close. We might have to change some items around so that our dodge increases that way. It's not a bad idea also. I usually don't like to do that though because I'm always trying different team combinations. I don't want to change the items a million times. Hey, that was a good start. Both Catholic heroes gone first wave. Right, Miss Peters, Miss. Yes. Ah, oh, one miss. That's all we got. What the fuck. Right, let's try a few different elements. Maybe chaos will help. Fuck that shit. Let's try switching it. Hey, dog. How's it going? Oh, yeah. It's Shelly. Shelly, what's up? Yeah, I hope everyone's having a good weekend. We're just stuck on dungeon level 10, 17. Reminds me of Dragon Ball Z's, Android 17 and 18. I was hoping to be beating 18, can't even beat 17. Holy shit. Just 
just getting wiped here. All right, we're gonna have to switch it to electricity. Switch that, see if that works. Oh, come on, Dodge. I was hoping maybe if what would happen is we would take out three heroes with the first wave of attack, two Catholic heroes and a Peter. And then if we could do that, then we would just have to be lucky enough to do some damage with the remaining three. Kamehameha! <laughs> Yeah, I miss playing Dragon Ball. I should get a new Dragon Ball Z game. I haven't played it since PS3. Now I started playing the Dragon Ball games on like the computer when you had to get ROMs from, I guess now China, Japan. Then they finally started to release real Dragon Ball games here. Jeez, where is the dodge? I gotta find a way to increase dodge. If anyone has a good idea for dodge, let me know. Maybe I have to take Alice out, keep Genie in, and put in Sea King. That might do it. Ooh. Ooh. That was a pretty good one. Injured a Peter, took out a Catholic hero. Yeah. Oh, it's going to say if we could get one more dodge there, take him out. That was a little closer, but still, this one's really going to be challenging. I think we almost need to upgrade our genie. If we get genie another red star, hopefully it's enough to beat this level. Because I think we're pretty much stuck here. Unless someone could think of a plan. How to increase dodge. That was good. That was like three or four dodges in a row. If we could just get more of that. Um, fuck. Just can't dodge shit. Not dodging any of it. It's ridiculous, eh? It's like all of a sudden we reach someone who just doesn't miss. For fuck's sakes. How do they never miss? There we go. Started with two misses. That was a little better. Still, come on. Come on. Jeez. Alright. I'm getting sick of this. I still can't believe we made it to 1017. Everyone else got stuck at 1018. Not me. 
I got stuck at 10, 17. I'm the only one. Everyone else got stuck at different levels. We know the combination that wins it. Him, him. Tango. See? Supposed to be able to dodge it. Why are fucking Zoros aren't dodging? Who only knows? Oh, too bad. If only Beowulf survived, then we could have really had a chance to tear him a new one. Yeah, we'll try different characters for a bit. Maybe this will be the answer. Nice lucky dodge streak with Tengu. Beowulf maybe hitting them twice in a row, doing some serious damage. There we go. We're still just not hitting hard enough though, because we gotta be able to kill them in one hit. If not, King Peter will just reheal. Fuck. can't take Alice out because we need her double attacks. Hey Augusto, how's it going? Anyone else ever get stuck at 10, 17? God, this level's hard. I think I'm about done putting Tengu in. Fuck that shit. Let's try that. Yeah, sometimes this game's dungeon levels get really intense. This one, I had a feeling when King Peter was back, because I barely beat him the last time. Oh man, we did no damage again. Four sixty-five. You're way ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have been playing a long time now. Years. Um, yeah, maybe this really is the level we can't beat. Didn't want to see it come to an end like this. Um, if we can only hit harder. Let's try that. Oh, for Christ's sakes, man, that is fucking brutal. Oh, I'm so sick of the dungeon now. 
I was so happy to finally start beating some levels. Wanted to record beating levels, and then what do you know? The level that I turn it on to record can't fucking beat it. Oh, what a piece of shit. Oh well. Let's watch how he beat it again. New master. Alice in the tank. Tangu off to the side? What the fuck? Alice to the tank. Tangu off to the side. Is that the team? Look at it again. Genie, Tangu. I guess I just got the order different. Was that it? No. Let me just take a picture of it for God's sakes. I have to flip back and forth a hundred times because I can't remember in two seconds. The nice shady thing is when I put it on the other screen, it won't show the image to me. Fucker. There it is. Alright, now I can just look at the image. It shows Genie, Tengu, Alice, that person. Yeah, that is the right lineup. Exactly how it shows the other person beat it. It doesn't show us what element they picked though. Wish it did. I think it's clear we're just going to need to increase Genie's strength because Genie is too weak right now. And in order to make Genie stronger, we got to give him two Sun Star to consume. So we really got to start working on either making her or him. I probably should make this guy because we can make, keep getting tons of Rising Moon Warriors. Then all we need is a fat chili and her. Yeah, there's our rising moon warrior. There's our fat chili. So that's the plan. In order to beat the dungeon, we're gonna have to do that. We'll have to make this guy, cash him in, consume him, make Genie two star. Hopefully that makes a difference. I don't even know, what does Genie get better? Is there even any advantage?
Hey, George Washington's here. Thank God, George knows the answer. Let's uh, get the slide for him so he can clear it up. We were saying the, the other day, the only way we'll ever figure this out is if George comes back. Right, so which of these chess heroes does what? The girl does something, Kim does something, and Elvis does something. So I'm going to write it underneath them, what each one does. So we don't forget for next time. I think it's the girl was what? One of them was like no ones, I think. So you don't roll ones. That'd be convenient. All right, let's check. How many Elizabeths do we got? None. Jeez. We got two fat chilies. That's a pretty good start. Click on the avatar on the map in the chess map screen and it tells you. Oh, should have known. All right, let's go do it. Oh, the girl's Marilyn Monroe. That's right. That would make sense. Oh, it does tell you. Sweet. Change dice outcome from 1 to 6 to 2 to 6. So Marilyn Monroe gives you better odds. Damage will be increased by 10%. We don't need that. If the challenge the boss fails, chess beast will move back one space. We don't need that either, right? So I guess we'll go with Marilyn Monroe. Sweet. That's good news. All right. Not only did George help us, but he taught us to help ourselves. <laughs> Finally. Alright, now we got some dice, do we? It's a shame we saved up so many dice, but then the game took the dice away just before the chess event came. So now we're back down to 40. Sons of bitches. Oh well. At least we get to play a few. You can also switch the avatar once you start by clicking on it. Oh, no kidding. That's good news. Just in case we need that boss one. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know why I'm yawning. Shouldn't be tired. Had lots of sleep. Probably craving sugar. Too much sitting around on computers again. Now I was gone up north for a few weeks visiting steadfast and getting lots of exercise and it was great but I had to come back to do some work. Hopefully I'll get a new job up north soon. And then, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to switch my internet plan so I can uh, have high speed at her place and do streams while we're up there. That will be sweet. All right, six. Cubes. Four. Pet bull. Ooh, dodge increased. That's what we need. Fucking two. Piece of shit. Oh, well. Yeah, we're really low on dice for this one, boy. Oh, now those gems are part of the chess. I should have guessed. Took away good rewards and gave us gems. That's actually a pretty good reward there, eh? Because you need these things all the time for DNA. But we'll just skip it for now. I don't see anything I like, really. K 
Kim can be used for boss if something good is in front of him. Yeah, that's true. If you need to use strategy to roll. Hmm. I don't know if anyone heard the news, but I apparently heard the space station is leaking. So the, all the countries had to beg the Russians to go save them. So now the Russians are going to try to save the crew that's trapped or dying in the space station. Who knows, maybe it's old news and they already saved them. Or maybe they repaired the leak. Can you imagine that? You're living in a leaky space station. That would suck. Yeah, luckily the Russians are advanced enough to help the rest of the world. Do, do, do. There we go. Oh, we got fist action. <laughs> Three fists. Four. Oh, at least we can't roll one, eh? Remember when we used to be able to roll one? Oh, that was shitty days. Now I can hardly wait till Avatar 2 comes out on DVD or Blu-ray. I don't know if anyone's seen it yet, but I got a 3D TV, so I'm dying to watch it on it. Do, do, do. Well, we don't need any of these. We'll skip it. Fuck, I still can't believe we had so many dice and then the game took them away. Can you imagine how many episodes of chess we could have played? We had like shitloads of dice. They kept giving us more as rewards too, so I was like, surely we can keep them. And then no, they gave them as rewards and still took them away. It's like, what the fuck are they doing? Why would they give you a reward? Like, you work so hard to get those rewards, and then they just take it away. It's like, what the hell are they doing? Because I don't know, everyone remember, the chess event was over, but they kept giving us rewards as dice. So it made it, it seem like you were going to be able to keep the dice. Why else would they be giving them as rewards? But then, no, they took the dice away still, even after giving it as rewards when the dice game was over. So who knows, maybe that was just all a glitch and they didn't mean to give the dice as rewards again. Someone was saying that, that it must have been a glitch. I guess the glitch theory was right. Or unless they really wanted to get everyone's hopes up that you could use extra dice and then boom, take them away. Pet callers, that's pretty tempting, right? That's a pretty good deal on scrolls though too. I think pet callers is probably the better one. We'll keep the pet caller, we'll save it. Don't want to use it yet, because there's probably something better coming. Mysteries Recap is on YouTube, is where he watches all of his movies. Wow, I'll have to check that out. Does anyone remember where we get the red dice? Last time the dice was here, I got some red ones, and then I wasn't able to use them, because I was on the road didn't have internet for a few days so I was like oh fuck missed all the dice although it was a fun trip but I was still like geez bad timing for dice and then I was like oh it's such good timing because we we're able to keep the dice and then no they fucked us over yeah because I had a whole bunch of green dice whole bunch of red dice it's going to be the best chess event ever. Oh well. 
Still, nothing's going to beat the first chess event I ever played in Clone Evolution. They used to give dragon fragments as rewards. It's like, what the fuck ever happened to those chess games? I haven't seen a dragon frag since that. It's like two years ago. Imagine it does come back. You're like, oh, all you had to do is wait three years. <laughs> it's like, oh, is that all? <laughs> Fuck. Wait three years. <laughs> Piece of shit, man. Wait. Man, any game that you have to wait more than a year is just stupid. And it gets to the point where you're waiting three years. It's like, what the fuck? Who the hell is playing that game? <laughs> Someone very patient, right? It takes three years for the event to come back. <laughs> It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, oh, that was quick. It was only a three year wait. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking the moon base will be built by the time the chess event comes back with dragon frags. Fuck. <laughs> probably never coming back they're like oh all those dragon frags you got sucker can't use them <laughs> we're never giving you any more oh well I don't even want to make dragons anymore it took, took so many years at this point I'm like fuck it I don't even care about them anymore <laughs> I've moved on to making other characters that are actually possible. There we go. 360 coins. Now we're talking rewards, eh? Pet house. That's fucking the shit. Too bad we can never save up enough coins to actually unlock it, but... Better be careful we don't load our shopping cart up with stuff and then can't buy any of it. Alright, how do we get more dice here? I'm running so low already. Five star missions gets us ten dice. Fuck. None of this gets us any dice. Why am I not surprised? Holy shit, man, that would be a nice cash in and dice. This is how many dice I had saved and they took away from us. Like $69 worth of dice. Oh well. Yeah, it'd be weird to be so loaded that you're like, oh, I'll just spend $140 and buy 80 dice. Kind of glad we're not that loaded. It would make the game too easy, you think? Start just buying all the dice. Play dice for like all night. <laughs> oh well. So this is the episode we got stuck on the dungeon on 10-17. Looks like we're going to have to increase Genie's strength because I don't see any other way of us beating it. Not even close. Maybe we'd get lucky if we tried the Zoro team, but even the Zoro team just wasn't working. I'll try the Zoro team one more time just to see if they can pull off a miracle. I don't see it happening. Yeah, it's something else, eh? 1017. I think it's fair that a lot of players are usually 400 level before they beat this. 
Oh yeah, George Washington says that the $140 pack is only $100 in the US. It's probably because of our shitty exchange rate. I'm surprised Biden did so well with the economy. I always thought the US dollar was going to drop again, like it did under Obama. But no, luckily the US dollar is still worth a lot more. Yeah, I could do a VPN. <laughs> nah, I still have to convert my money, though. Yeah, Canada's currency is pretty bad lately. The government literally told everyone to stay home for two years and just started giving out checks of free money until it fucking hyperinflated the currency like crazy. Money was almost free for a while, right? Like, no one had to work. Well... It was weird. They had weird qualifications. Where first they told everyone you could stay home. They gave out all the money. And then a lot of people just got a note. Like after a year or two of doing it. Going, aha, sorry, we tricked you. We want all the money back. So now you're just in debt for all that two years you stayed home. <laughs> Can you imagine, eh? Like what a fucking backstabbing government we have. Oh well. Could be worse. Sure, there's dictators somewhere worse. Yeah, it's quite the fiend, right? Steal everyone's wages for two years. Oh well. I'm sure maybe everything will be back to normal. We'll have learned our lessons. Yeah, we're never beating this level. It's kind of weird, eh, that it's just King Peter that stopped us. I always thought it was going to be Genghis Khan or something. Some, like, really impressive enemy. Catholic hero and King Peter. Of all the ones to stop us. Fuck. Oh, well. Yeah, so George, or if anyone else didn't see, we did actually make Anubis recently. Big waste to heroes, big waste to stars, but we did it. <laughs> yeah, people make fun of Trudeau's blackface, but it's kind of funny. In Canada's culture, it used to be a flattery to copy someone. So I think that's why he used to do it. And it's weird, too, how he never admits it, either. He's like, oh, he just did it by mistake. It's like, he didn't do it by mistake. He actually thought it was flattery. That's what our culture was at the time. Why he hides that, I don't know. Our culture changed so that if you copy someone, it's making fun of them instead. <laughs> Yeah, they changed it, not us. Now, when I was at the bus station, I was traveling. I was up north, so I was seeing a lot more native people around. And a lot of, well, not a lot of them, but some of them were carrying the hockey bags that Chicago Blackhawks logos. I was like, I figured that. I didn't think that all natives wanted to get rid of the teams that had native stuff on it. If anything, it looked pretty cool, I thought, but Chicago Blackhawks is a pretty neat logo. Now, if anyone wants to see how my trips went, I posted it to my YouTube channel so you can see some of the bus stations I visited. Sorry for the shitty camera, though. I just have my cell phone. Next trip, I'll try to bring an actual vlogging camera. No, luckily the bus broke down partway on the trip, but the driver stopped and was able to get the bus started again. I was like, phew, that was close. 
And I think I've done everything I can for today's episode, right? Unless there's something else I'm missing. We defeated the dungeon as much as possible. You can show everyone where we got stuck on the second dungeon. Yeah, I guess the Redskins was the worst name. <laughs> Which one? Oh yeah, that was football, right? I don't really follow football too much. In Canada, we do have football, but it's the CFL. And I even met CFL players because I worked with some of them. During the layoffs, they had canceled the football, so some of them came to work at our company. So I got to meet some of the athletes. I was surprised. I was still bigger than them. And they were football players. <laughs> Must have been a small position, like a kicker or something. Or I bet you all the big football players make it to the NFL. Right, so how it should work is we should be able to beat the first level, the second level, but it gets stuck on the third level. I was thinking of maybe changing the order of some of the heroes so we could beat the first level without Beowulf and then save him for the third level. Looks like the second level is starting to give us trouble again. Fuck, man. No consistency. We either win or lose. It's always different. All right, there's Hitler defeated. See how this battle goes. I won't skip it. See how badly we're, maybe we're not even close to beating it with the second one. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't want to be Worf anymore. <laughs> Now I got to meet, I think, Worf at a convention. I'm trying to remember. Maybe he's one of the... No, yeah, I think I did, yeah. Or maybe he didn't. I'm trying to remember. Worf. Now I pretty much met almost every people from Star Trek, but there's a couple I didn't. I think Worf might be one of the ones that never came to Toronto. Maybe if anyone saw him at Toronto, let me know. <laughs> now I remember Deanna Troy was at a convention she was talking about Worf in real life and she's like oh he always dates really crazy girls I'm like yeah crazy girls can be nice <laughs> no comments <laughs> there we go We're nowhere close to beating the second boss. That was horrific. <laughs> so I guess we could rearrange all the heroes and try to figure out a way to beat it, but I don't know. Uh, so disappointed that we got stuck on 117. I really wanted to see how hard 118 was. Fuck. Can't believe we got stuck on 117. Oh well. We'll watch it again. See how Noob Naster did it. Maybe his genie is just stronger. Eh? His genie is so strong that he doesn't take enough damage to be killed. Yeah, because look, he's surviving these hits. So if he's surviving them, his genie must be really strong. And his Beowulf pack such an attack, right? It almost killed them all with the first hit.
Yeah, he just destroys them. It's not even a challenge. Wow, eh? So hopefully it is. If we increase our genie, he'll be so much stronger that we'll just wipe our way through it. Speaking of wiping our way through it, maybe we should increase the guild, eh? This might be a good time, right? We need the, the stronger abilities. Alright, now they're both up to 14. We could really boost their levels up. Figure it, that's what you got to do sometimes, right? If, if you're not beating it, increase the level and hopefully that helps some. We can increase everyone's level. I wonder what's the max we can go up to now. If anyone did the math. Imagine we got everyone up to 260. That'd be nice. Yeah, close Schwab, the economic forum. At least some of that stuff seems to be dying down, except for in Canada. In Canada, the government's hiring like trillions of dollars worth of hackers to work for the country. And for some reason, we keep getting our asses hacked all the time. The, all of our government agencies keep getting their websites hacked. All of our private information is leaking out. It's either the school board gets hacked or the liquor store gets hacked or whatever it is that has our private information. It's fucked up, right? Like, it almost seems like how our healthcare system works. We invest more and more into it, and the problems just get worse and worse. Almost like it is tied back to the World Economic Forum in both situations. Let's hope not. Don't want to get too C word. I always wondered that too. It's like, why would we be hiring so many hackers? And I'm like, oh yeah, we keep getting threats of hacks from the World Economic Forum. They said if we don't give them complete control of the internet, that they'll hack the shit out of us. Or that they, someone else will. Yeah, maybe we should just go for Elizabeth now. We need her so bad, right? Yeah, let's set it. So which Elizabeth can we collect? I guess purple is the only one, right? Elite mode, level 50. You gotta go there. Holy shit, all the way back to elite. All right, we'll try to save up enough Elizabeth frags because that's who we really need once we get Elizabeth Then we can get closer to making her once we made her gold We're halfway there for fat chili and him already. So Elizabeth is the hard one really got to focus on her Or we could go this route and do the M. Bison, or Bison with Elizabeth and him. That's probably the better way, so that way we don't waste copies of Rising Moon Warrior. We'll see how it goes, though. It is getting tempting to make Beowulf one day, 
or by Phil. I like how you can see their abilities better. Who knows, maybe that was always an option, but it seems like you can see them a lot better. Oh, speaking of seeing better abilities, let's see what Anubis can do. Increase damage dealt to enemies by 8% for every debuff on hero max. Gain a shield that can absorb 120% of your attack of damage upon performing a skill for two rounds. So that shield will be good. That'll be helping to increase our double our attack. Increase critical rate by 50%. Holy. So he'll be doing critical a lot. Reduce attack of other heroes. Wow, that's a good one. Yeah, I like Anubis. He seems like he's got some decent stuff. Holy, you can go four red stars and then a fifth star? I've never heard of this fifth star before. Is anyone else? Maybe there's only certain heroes that get it. Does he get a fifth star? No. So only certain heroes can unlock a fifth star. Oh, here we go. Increased damage dealt. See what the fifth star does. Increase your double attack chance by 15% and reduce immunity. And reducing immunity seems crucial these days. <laughs> Immune to fatal blow and remove all control effects. Increase damage dealt to enemies with shields. Huh. Fifth star doesn't sound so good. Yeah, Switzerland is a nice place. I know some people that traveled there. Oh, she can go to five stars. Yeah, so it's kind of neat, eh? See all these heroes that can go up to five stars. Some can, some can't. Sucks Alice can't. Genie can't. Whoops, looks like I just closed the YouTube studio. <laughs> oh yeah, Duplo Lego showed too. That that's what the chess pieces do. All right, so we're all set for knowing what the chess pieces do, finally. Oh, so the dragon, he can go to five stars. Figured, eh? Must be a real bitch to upgrade them to five stars. I think that's what it is when anyone's flashing, eh? That's what it means if they can go to five stars or not. Like she can go to five. He can go to five. She can go to five. Because they got that extra flash, right? Or extra border around. So remember we kept asking everyone, like, what is the extra border? Or what is this flash around them? That's what it is. So that's why Anubis is flashing. He can go up to five star. Oh, 
Yeah, so that's kind of neat. Electric, holy, she can go up to five star? <laughs> that's hilarious, eh? No wonder some people pick her. She's five star, that makes sense. Wow, red doesn't have many five stars, eh? Just two. Oh, Beowulf's a five star. I didn't know that, eh? What's his fifth star? Increase your double attack. Increase fatal blow and remove all control effects. Holy. Increase damage dealt to enemies with shields by 60%. Damn. Wow. So that's why Beowulf is a special character too. He's also one of the few water ones that can go to five stars. All right, so it's good. We learned something new in Clone Evolution almost every episode, right? Eh? Now we know why they flash like that. Someone was telling me it was because it was new characters. And I'm like, it doesn't matter how new or old they are. Because some of the dragons are flashing and they're old characters. Yep, she's got the fifth star. Hmm. Well, at least the show remained excellent today. We didn't get cutouts or anything. That was sweet. And we should end a little bit early. Don't want to do another marathon stream, so we'll give a shout out to everyone in the chat. Rusty Valor, Shelly or Dog, Augusto Pasco Basilio, George Washington, Rusty Valor. And big shout out to Steadfast too. Hope to visit her up north again soon. So big shout out to everyone. I think I'm getting pretty hungry for lunch, so I think that's what I'm gonna work on next. <sighs> if anyone has any ideas on how we can beat this dungeon 117 it sucks we'll have to do another episode called 1018 because we never made it <laughs> but either way I think in the meantime we'll just keep working on trying to build up Genie because if Genie can go up in levels get him up to like yeah let's see what he does let's see what Genie's upgrades are who knows maybe his next ability sucks balls and there's no point in even upgrading him is it just me or is it not showing his abilities let's click someone else and see if it shows theirs Oh, can only check on five. That's weird, eh? That the fifth star, you can check what they all do. But if they got four, you can't. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, well. Too bad. Too sad. All right, let's go to the fire screen and see what we got there. If you happen to get any, let's say, chest dice in your vaporizer and they taste like shit, give the show a dislike. But if it doesn't happen, you can give the show a like and a share. Really appreciate it. Just make sure never buy the products from my sponsor. Because it will ruin your life. Bye for now, everyone. See you later. And thanks for watching the travel vlogs too. If everyone can like and share those videos, I really appreciate it. Take care. Bye for now. We'll try to do another Clone Evolution soon. And who knows, maybe we will make it to 1018 before we know it. Bye for now. Later. Damn. 
stuck on 1017. Son of a... 